I tell those idiots uh, who argue uh, for uh, Big Bang Theory and uh, Evolution Theory to read the Bible about uh, creation. These are the words of a very committed Catholic uh, who, uh, who came to see me. When I told him that um, the Genesis story of creation is not meant to be a scientific uh, explanation for uh, the origin of the universe or uh, anything, it is rather the theology of the relationship between uh, humans and God he was shocked. He said, that means all this time I was that idiot who was using a Bible to justify uh, that kind of creation and refute the theory of uh, evolution and Big Bang. The problem with my friend was that he had good catechesis, but only as a child. And he thought he knew everything from, them, uh, from then, and he did not upgrade himself. Or in other words, missed out on an adult faith formation. I had to tell him, understood properly, Bible is not contradictory to any of these uh, scientific uh, theories or uh, presumptions. So, the thing is uh, to have a, a growth in the understanding and uh, growth in faith. As we heard from the writings of Mark, we see a story there, story of a blind man by name Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, eh? making a very similar point. This um, story of his healing, Jesus did a lot of healing, but the way Mark formulates uh, those um, uh, events and present it in the gospel has got a particular re reasons and uh, context or meaning. This, therefore, uh, is uh, metaphorical. This, this man meets Jesus at Jericho and uh, Mark doesn't uh, give any detail without a reason. Jericho is the last stop for uh, the pilgrims, Jewish pilgrims who were on their way to Jerusalem temple on uh, any feast day. So nearly there, but not yet. And this uh, story is uh, part of the narrative of uh, Jesus' uh, journey, mission journey from Galilee to Jerusalem where he will be sacrificed. All those uh, disciples who are following him are uh, following him in the discipleship. Therefore, all along the way, Jesus is teaching them. And that's the context. That means uh, here the message is for someone who has uh, traveled a fair distance in their pilgrim way or a faith life, yet uh, hasn't reached there yet. So, most likely most of us uh, are uh, in the, at that stage, a fair distance of a uh, journey you have done but uh, we haven't uh, 
got uh, really there to the city of uh, God. And uh, Bartimaeus uh, has some faith. He knows to some extent who Jesus is. He calls out, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. Son of David is a title for Jesus, but it's, uh, it, uh, it, it doesn't really or fully define Jesus. It's only a partial definition. Jesus here uh, in this gospel later would correct uh, those disciples. So it's, uh, he has got only a partial understanding of uh, who Jesus is. And when uh, he approaches Jesus, he gives him full vision. Full vision of uh, what this uh, way of the discipleship is and where that is taking him. And then he could uh, really understand who Jesus is and he follows. The man who had this uh, cloth to do the begging throws that away and he doesn't need it anymore because uh, he is not dependent on the handouts of the people anymore. He has got a full trust in God in uh, whom he is uh, following, Jesus whom he is following, and he doesn't need any other handouts. And that too is uh, a metaphorical instruction for us. Many Christians are happy with uh, the little handouts they get uh, each day. Many of you using the social media would look for uh, snippets of uh, uh, inspirational stories and uh, images. We all do that, don't we? And if we stop at that and we are happy with uh, those handouts, little handouts, uh, we are missing out on the, uh, the, the bigger picture and the greater perspective. We shall not be bound to that uh, begging bowl of uh, those uh, little handouts. So, so how do we really uh, grow in faith or uh, throw away our uh, uh, clock that collects uh, just uh, these uh, bits and pieces. And that's, that's done when you make use of the opportunities for uh, adult faith formation. This parish organizes every now and then various things and your bulletin has got uh, various uh, inserts that uh, help us to understand a lot more the, about the church, the theology, and uh, Jesus himself. There are uh, occasional programs here. We also have a number of uh, online programs and other uh, uh, things announced uh, to you. Whenever you get an opportunity, make use of uh, those uh, programs and the events that will grow into a deeper understanding of uh, Jesus so that you can have an adult relationship with him and a matured uh, approach to discipleship, working with Jesus, be a visionary and a disciple.